This is Garnish Chew made with a twist by Pink Sister and Diamond Lady. You can add this to your wache, your white rice, your ampesi, your banku, and any other meal. Hope you enjoy our recipe. Hello everybody, it's Pink Sister in the kitchen today, coming at you with a brand new video. Today we are making a very versatile stew which you can accompany it with anything. Plain rice, jollof rice, wache maybe. Could we have a shout out from Diamond Lady please? <coughs> now on to the ingredients. We have some coconut oil today which we are going to be using, some sunflower oil and then some table salt. The vegetables we're going to be using, we have a nice wide assortment as we always do. Some mixed peppers, some mixed onions, some ginger, some tomatoes, some carrots and then some garlic. We have a stock cube of shrimp here and then some spices we are going to be using today. Dried rosemary, bay leaves, anise and some cloves. Over here is the meat we're going to be using. This can be substituted with fish if you will like or you can add fish with it to just have two different elements in your stew. These meats are just meats that we like and enjoy here at home. Now, the two last ingredients we're going to be using, some tomato puree and then some chopped tomatoes. Let's get on the cooking. Hello everyone, this is Simon Lady ooh, ooh, and I'm taking over with the cooking. I'm going to start off by cooking the meat and I'm going to add onion, salt and some spices to the meat and cook them separately in separate saucepans. Whilst that is boiling away, I'm going to add one habanero pepper to the veg and blend them together with the spices. If you want your stew to be extra spicy, I would suggest you add more more habanero pepper to the blend mix once I'm done with the blending and the meat is done cooking I am going to deep fry it today I am deep frying the meat in sunflower oil don't forget to line your dish with some tissue paper so that when you take your fried meat out the tissue paper will take away the excess oil meanwhile Put on high heat your pan so that it is hot enough to start the stew with a twist. I am going to start off by adding one teaspoon of coconut oil for additional health benefits. And I'm going to add in there four tablespoons of sunflower oil. I am using less oil as I don't want to end up with very oily stew. Once the oil is heated up, I am going to add in there half sliced onions and I'm going to fry this for a few minutes. I don't have to forget to check on the meat that I am frying on the side. I love to multitask. That's me. And this is going really well in this kitchen. Pink Sister and I, Diamond Lady, we love cooking. And we love to show off our cooking. So once the onions are done frying, we're going to add in there our blended mix. In place of this blended mix, some people may decide to add their tomato puree. But don't forget, we are cooking with a twist, so we're doing it the opposite way. It will all end up tasting the same anyway. A, 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 a. We just love dancing and cooking at the same time. We always have some music in the background just to boost our cooking. So I'm going to cover this stew mess and I'm going to lower the heat down a little bit and leave it to stew away. I'll keep coming back to check on the stew as I don't want it sticking to the bottom of the pan. 
Mm -mm -mm. It smells delicious in here. And this is going so well. I'll keep checking on the stew as I don't want it to burn just I have told you previously. So you know, usually with a normal stew, you don't see anyone adding carrots or green peppers or many more spices in there. But we are cooking with a twist, hence we have some peppers and some carrots and many more items in our cooking. So I'm adding in there now the tomato puree. So this looks like I will need a bit more oil in there and um, I will need some water to loosen it up. But I think I am going to add some oil in there first. But before then I am going to add my chopped tomatoes in there. This is looking lovely. I love the color is looking delicious and it smells so delicious i can't wait to eat this i'm going to add four tablespoons of oil in there don't forget we don't want our stew to look too oily so we add in our oil in bits ah uh, well this looks delicious we're going to let this stew away as well. We love cooking. Pink Sister Diamond Lady, we love cooking. Our stew is looking good. Once this stew is done, we can eat it with wache or awache. We can eat it with white rice. We can eat it with rice and beans. We can eat it with kenke, we can eat it with um PC, we can eat it with our eba or whatever else we choose to eat this with. I know someone who usually put this stew on her bread. Oh my god, she is so weird. But one day she got me to test it and it was one of the best food I've ever tasted. It was lovely. You can give it a go as well. So I've just added in there a bit of the stock from the meat I cooked previously. And I'm going to allow that to stew away as well. Bingo! See how this is coming. Oh my word. This is lovely and it's looking delicious. It smells so good. The aroma in here. I'm going to add the meat in there. I don't think I have more room in there for the meat. So I'm going to leave some on the side. And I'm going to add more meat. I'm adding my wale. And my cow feet. Oh my this calls for watching i am definitely going to cook some watching with this oh my this looks good jealousy can say i can see that way uh, 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 uh. i am so excited for this stew it's looking so good so i'm going to make sure all the meat is covered in the sauce and i'm going to leave it on here for it to stew a little bit as well so um the stew looks good oh my god one of my my favorite song is going to play now wow hey <laughs> Well, this stew is going so well. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to have watch it with this stew. Wow. This looks delicious. Just like the way I like my stew. I don't like my stew oily. So you notice the oil is not too much. It's just slightly. I can't eat oily food. I just can't. So what I'm adding in there is extra spices to make it taste awesome to change the flavor just a little bit this looks good 
Why don't you look out for our wache recipe? We always love to cook with a twist. Our wache recipe is also definitely going to be a wache with a twist. So once you're done cooking this stew, you can eat wache with us. You can eat your banku with it. You can eat your ampesi with it. You can eat your kenke, your eba. Any other thing you've got in mind, you can eat this stew with it. Voila! That is looking delicious. So, Pink Sister and I, Diamond Lady, want to say thank you for liking our videos, thank you for sharing our videos, and thank you for being a subscriber. Don't you forget to invite us to your home once you cook this recipe thank you watch out for our watchy recipe oh my oh my this looks delicious thank you for watching be a subscriber like and share our video thank you so this is how the stew is looking now. I decided to eat watch it with the stew and this is how it looks like. Why don't you watch out for our watch it recipe as well? Hey, uh, this looks so delicious. Hey, come join me eat this. Food.